everyone and thank you so much for joining me for another video today i am finally sharing our february monthly budget with you guys now what you see here i've already set up the february budget stickers in my mini happy planner and if you missed that video i'll leave it linked up above and you can go back and check it out now i am not going to delay with this video because it is super late guys i have been sharing with you guys that i was out sick for a week from work and guys it is just amazing how one week can throw you off it feels like it's taken me you know a month plus just to get caught up so please bear with me as i you know get caught up and then you know get the videos back on a regular rotation but soon after the monthly budget for february i've got to come back and do a mid-month check-in so that is just what i am dealing with guys and thank you so much for the encouraging words and the uplifting um, inspiration that you all have provided it is definitely needed during this time this is a true weird season for us coming into 2022 and i've heard from several of you all that you know things are a little weird for you guys as well um, many of you all may be having to update your budgets as far as your annual budget you're updating your savings um, plan as far as your goals for 2022 and listen that is okay it is very important that you continue to evaluate your situation and hey we adjust to make things work so we have definitely got off to a super slow start for the 2022 year guys and hopefully we can you know catch up but i'm at the point now to where i'm just gonna roll with it because at the end of the day i'm still thankful my family is still thankful and god is gonna continue to you know be who he is in our life and you know he is alpha he is omega he has supplied all of our need even if we look at the situation and we think that the need is not going to be met we declare and decree it's already met and I declare and decree that over your life, your family's life as well, guys. So we need all the encouragement that we can get during these times. But um, I'm going to get off of that and get right into the monthly budget for February. Now, remember, we do have a rollover of $900 from January, and that'll be indicated in this here budget and if you're interested in these stickers my etsy shop is linked down below in the description box these are the full page stickers in the mini happy planner size and i do have seven by nines as well as far as the budget stickers i did update some things as far as my offerings um, on budget stickers but i'm still offering the full page stickers as well so for the income for hubs we are planning 2456 to be direct deposited into this joint household account and if this is your first time watching any of our budgeting videos my husband and i we do allocate a portion of our paychecks direct deposit to this joint household account and this is where we pay our bills from we still have a little bit of money remaining that's direct deposited to our personal accounts and we just handle all of our personal expenditures out of our personal account and if you don't see certain categories sinking slash saving funds that you normally see on budgets that's because we either don't handle it or it's something that we do take care of out of our personal account and for me we are planning direct deposit this month sixteen hundred dollars and i'm going to account for the rollover so i'm just going to put rollover here and then i have to come back and put son's um, phone once he pays it so the $900 is going to be accounted for. So we are actually working with, for the month of February, as far as what we're going to plan our budget off of, is $49.56. And that is amazing. And this does not um, include Hub's bonus. So they did tell him that um, you know, the bonus will release in February. And so we are expecting that. And I know it's going to hit because it's truly pending right now. So that is a blessing. And of course, that'll be updated in the mid-month check-in. And so our tithes right now, we plan the 926. But of course, once the bonus hits, that'll be updated because we do tithe off of our gross income. 
our expenses uh, we've got the mortgage our mortgage is 536 and guys from time to time I get questions about our mortgage we do live in a modest home and um, we've been in it for you know 16 plus years guys so that is um, something that we are truly thankful for we know when we get our next house it's definitely going to be way more than what we've paid for our first home so we're trying to make sure that we are prepared for that as well Amazon now this is an Amazon video we are still paying that $9.99 I canceled Netflix so we are just trying to see what other channels we want to you know replace Netflix with so right now I think this is Paramount Plus and it's working well thus far our internet is coming in at the 112.56 we have a YouTube and this YouTube premium and this is something for hubs and it's $11.99 our pest control we do have pest control this month and we are planning $55 our electricity that's the flat amount that we pay and it's $325 car insurance the car insurance went down by $50 so it is 206 52 that we're planning and then of course our prepaid cell phone bills is still at the 8650 and this is for two lines we have our tax debt and this is our installment agreement and that's the 235 per month our life insurance and that is still coming in at the 6264 and then our lawn service now we got one cut last month I'm not really sure if we're gonna get one cut again but I'm still gonna plan $100 now for our groceries I've bumped the grocery bill up hubs has taken on the grocery shopping guys and I'm having to train him y'all so I said you know I'm gonna have to boost this up just a little bit until he gets acclimated he is now meal planning as well guys he is checking everything in the pantry in the fridge the freezer so he's doing a really good job i'm really proud of him i just need to make sure i can hone him in on you know keeping our grocery bill low so i've added 150 dollars extra for february um generally it's 600 dollars a month and then if we have a fifth Saturday, then I just add an extra hundred, so it's seven hundred dollars. So I'm actually adding one hundred and fifty dollars for the month of February. And like I said, he's in training, so we are gonna see how that goes and see if we can keep him, you know, under budget when he goes to the grocery store. But I'm really proud of him, and I'm very thankful that he, you know, is really, you know, taking on those extra responsibilities. Because guys, when I was out, like when I say out, I was out. I was very very fatigued and I couldn't really do a whole lot and I didn't even drive that week that I was home guys he did what he needed to do and I'm so thankful for that and so he decided to just keep some of the things that would you know lighten my load and it's just a blessing so you know adding that extra to the groceries hey I'm okay with that and if we're over budget again in the groceries, hey, y'all just please bear with us because, like I said, he's in training. He really is. And I have to, you know, get him to understand BOGO don't mean you have to get both of the items. You don't have to get both of the items. At Publix, they'll still give you the item for half price. So that's just been, you know, a it's just been a, it's just been a journey. It really has. But I'm very thankful for the help. I really am. So our gas, our gas is coming in. Um, for the month, we're going to plan $120. So, I'm going to go ahead and add this up. And I'm not going to speed this video along. I decided to, you know, spend a little more time with you all this month. Because, like I said, I've just been out. And I'm playing catch up, not just with, you know, the um, YouTube. But just playing catch up all around, guys. And it's just amazing how, you know, things get behind when you miss a week. You know, you don't have any control of that. But we have gotten through it and I'm getting back to normal. So I'm not 100% yet, but um, I'm, I'm feeling really good, guys. I really am. So our total has come in at the 2686.20 as far as our planned um, expenses for the month. Now for the savings, 
like I said, this is going to be a pretty simple um, budget. We're going to do basically what we did last month. We're only going to account for the emergency fund, which is the $50 that's automatically taken out at the end of the month. And then I'll list the other funds, even though there's nothing in them. We are trying to get our um, AC unit completed this month. And all of the extra funds that we have, we're just trying to hold on to it so that we don't have to, um, you know, deplete our emergency fund. However, if we have to, you know, we're fine and we'll just rebuild it. But um, that's what we're doing now. We're trying to make sure that we get everything taken care of with the house because, you know, we've come up with some issues and guys, they've got to be taken care of. So right down here for the monthly overview, I'm going to crunch the numbers. So our income planned is at the 4956 our giving is planned at 926 our expenses is at the 2686.20 and our savings is planned at $50 and generally we would you know do something for extra debt as far as our taxes right now I'm going to say zero plan um, and that's the same thing like I said we're diverting all of our funds to you know making sure that we can get our projects completed um, in 2022 without going into debt so right here let me crunch these numbers here so it says 4956 minus 926 minus the expenses and then minus the savings so right now we have 1293.80 left and usually we would put about a little over six hundred dollars into our saving funds and we will put whatever we can towards our extra debt but like i said we're just holding on to whatever we can guys and that is a nice amount but even at the end of the day our saving funds are taking a hit because like i said we started out with 2022 these accounts except for the emergency fund they don't have anything in them so we've got to play catch up at some point so i believe we'll be all right but it just doesn't feel good, you know, starting off in the first quarter of 2022 with a bang and not a good bang. So let me pop these back into the planner. And that is pretty much it for this here budget. Now I have been doing more journaling and I'm going to share with you all my faith journal um, flip through after the first quarter. I said I was going to do it monthly, and I'm still on the fence about that, but I'm definitely going to share it with you um, quarterly. If I decide to share January's, um, you know, my notes and the things that I've journaled with you guys, then of course you will see that video pop up. But if not, I'm definitely going to share my quarter with you all. So I'm excited about that. But this is it for the February monthly budget, guys. It was simple and to the point. Leave me a comment down below. How is your February budget looking? And let me know, guys, have you had to make any adjustments for 2022 thus far? Um, and again, just remember, it's okay, guys, and we're going to be okay. Just keep each other lifted up in prayer. I continue to keep you all lifted up in prayer as well. But all right, I'm going to see you later. Bye.